Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and in this video, we got a surprising update for OBS for the Mac. Well, actually, it's an OBS update for everybody, but it has some stuff in the Mac that people have been sending on comments complaining about. So let's go through the process and see what's going on with the Ryzen Tosh and OBS 25.1. So let's go. Hey, this is the CEO here. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and builds to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron at patreon.com. Link is in the description, or you can always hit that join button below to become a YouTube member. Um, so I have a lot of people who like the videos that I talked about how to use OBS and Zoom or Zoom with OBS and all this other cool stuff. And with um, we talked about the virtual camera and all those things to where you could live stream to a bunch of other places, Zoom included, as well as Facebook, YouTube, all that other good stuff. But unfortunately, kind of <laughs> it's normally was the opposite of this, but you actually had a lot of those features were locked away from the Mac. Um, and we did other videos. We worked around how to do that, how to get it done without, but then Zoom would do an update. Then they would knock that out of place. Then um, OS, Mac OS would do an update and they would knock that out. So supposedly in version 2, 26.1, yeah, um, it fixes a lot of this. So let's go ahead and cut over to the Ryzen Tosh and let's just read through what's going on with this and do the update. All righty, we're here on the Ryzen Tosh. So let's go ahead and open up. I got my internet here. I'm actually disassembled this. Well, not, excuse me. I didn't disassemble it. I didn't have it hooked up because I'm trying to clear out my desk and work on my organization. So this has been sitting in the corner, not plugged in. Um, and I'm not on Big Sur or what, however you pronounce it. I'm not using that yet because I got to recompile this whole thing to use that. Just haven't done it yet. So anyway, let's go to OBS. And are we going to get an update? All right, it didn't pop up automatically, but let's go sh check for update, and boom, there we go. Let's go through what updates are included in this. So first, the more important one, added a virtual cam output for Mac OS, added the same output for Linux, yay. Added the ability to use separate audio track for VOD when using Twitch, okay. Um... Added OpenBSD support, cool. Um, added the ability to ingest captions coming from Decklink devices via Decklink captions. Um, that's cool, I've never played around with that, so that might be something I wanna check out. Added hardware decoding options for Stinger transitions. Added an option to duplicate filters in the right-click context menu, yay. Um, maybe if I use the right mouse while I'm trying to go through this. Um, what else? What else? Add a, well, we talked about that. Added ability to copy and paste a single filter. Added HLS support. Added replay buffer. Save event to the front end API. Improvements. Updated dependencies on Windows and Mac OS. Okay, on Linux. When creating a new profile, you will be now. You will be now be given. <laughs> The option to run the auto configuration. Okay. Change the, yeah, it looks like some, some people need to um, run some Grammarly over this before they do it. Streaming services may now apply resolution and frame rate limits on the stream to their service. Okay, that's cool. So anyway, um, it has some other fixes and stuff like that. But the main thing we want to do is for the virtual cam, because that's the one that's been lacking. And just like with originally in Windows, we had to do another plugin, but now it's finally built in. So let's go ahead and do the install here. All right. Install and relaunch. All right, yay. So there's our virtual camera button right there. 
so that's cool um let's see what other options they got in here stream key yeah that's fine ignore streaming service recommendations that's cool that that's there now output i always use advanced on this because of how my setup is because it doesn't pick up my hardware um, my radeon 7 inside of here so that's why i always do that even though the processor is more than fast enough to handle the stream at least this is actually using the um the gpu on here audio that's fine video that's fine advanced yeah nothing really jumping out to me but the main thing is the virtual camera all right so now what we're gonna do is and i haven't used zoom on this in a while let's go ahead and see do we get all of our other stuff working with this so let's go ahead and start our virtual camera wow that's asking for a password hmm. that's different okay there's my projection stuff OBS I think I, I never noticed it being right there but oh well all right so we got that started now let's go ahead and start up zoom All right, there we go. Now let's just go to our settings, video. What does it pick? It actually does not see anything. Hmm. That is strange. Well, let's make sure, are we on the latest version of this? check for some updates all right there's an update here let's run that yep install all righty now let's try this again go to video and still nothing hmm that is very very strange let's go ahead and just restart the Rosentosh and let's see if that helps all right we are back after a restart and let's give it another go here uh, I have way too many mice on my desk and keyboards all right OBS we're gonna start our virtual camera nothing popped up this time all right now let's go to zoom unexpectedly quit huh interesting zoom I'm wondering if this update made a change and there it goes and there it goes so I had my phone on do not disturb but then my notification still on and now a train is going by <laughs> but anyway um yay so we got it it's now working without any plugins and it's going directly through here yeah sorry about the jumping back and forth i don't know what was up with that but i guess after the install i mean the only thing i did was restart it now again maybe you don't get this issue on a pure mac i mean again i am running on a ryzen tosh right now that is not running the latest updates but um hey i mean it is working so i'm starting a meeting here's my meeting and we do have audio but let's make sure we are outputting our audio under audio we have our audio going through the vb audio cable so we got to come in here make sure we are outputting monitoring 
all right so now for our audio we would say that our audio microphone is the VV audio cable and now you can see the activity is going in so yay it is working I don't know what's going on with this I think the whole process is actually working I don't know if it's probably just because of updates or just my rods and tosh is causing the issue but now and my screen one is flickering back and forth so I don't know if that's the graphics card this cable I don't know but I mean we did get it to come up um, now again I'm not a always using Mac and stuff like that so please someone try this out on their Mac on a full-fledged 100% pure Mac and let me know um, do you see the virtual cable showing up are you having that same issue that I was having now again I have all this stuff set in place to record this so I don't know if it's tripping over itself I was running a zoom capturing OBS all this other stuff but the fact is the virtual camera is there I did not have any other apps that I could quickly get to to test out this virtual camera again um, I'm not logged into Facebook on that computer so I mean I could try that but I don't know maybe yeah let's let's see if I can go back to it I'm gonna close out of zoom let's try and go to Facebook on here and just see does the virtual camera show up I think I'm logged into Facebook here yes awesome I am so let's go ahead and do a live video yes we want to allow and there it goes our virtual camera so yay so it is showing up so that works so I don't know what it was maybe it just needed to be a reset but that is an option our virtual camera is there we would use our VB audio cable for sound and boom we're good to go man that that, that was a workout <laughs> but anyway it's good that now you do have that please test this out like I said I do not use the Mac or the Ryzen Tosh on a daily basis but the fact that it is there hopefully that will help y'all out whoever are using that so please let me know in the comments if you find any other issues with that and anybody who has been having issues with the virtual camera and stuff like that try and download version 26.1 and see if that solves it now this update is universal is going across all of them my windows systems i have downloaded that i haven't noticed anything yet i'm gonna play around with that before i download it on my church systems and other ones i have remote access to through chrome remote desktop but i think we're good so far so anyway like i said if you have any other questions or comments please leave them down below i try to get to all the comments as best as i can and more importantly help out the community if you're doing all your streaming at church and stuff like that on in the mac environment please test us out and let us know so that way we can let everybody else know who may be using this so if you like this type of content i appreciate a like consider subscribing and hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry i want to thank the patrons and youtube members for making this video possible their names are quickly being shown on the screen right now and you too can become a patron or a youtube member by clicking the links down below Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ, and we will see you on the next video later.